Hi everyone, this is Adeline from theapptimes.com and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a really cool home page for your blog using Thrive Content Builder. Thrive Content Builder is a plugin from premium WordPress developers Thrive Themes and it's got plenty of awesome tools to help you design the perfect home page of your choice. If you're unhappy with your current home page setup or you want a new design that can capture your readers' attention, bring in new subscribers and make conversions happen, this plugin will help you create that platform. Once you become familiar with all the elements in the plugin, creating a home page for whatever blog or business you're running should be a breeze. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to be creating a home page for a gardening website. Let's get started. Log into your WordPress dashboard, click Pages and select Add New. Enter a name for your page and click Save Draft. If you are running a Thrive theme, scroll down to the Thrive theme options section and disable a couple of options. Hide the page title and turn off the breadcrumbs. Next, scroll up to the Page Attributes section on the right-hand side, click the Template drop-down and select Full Width. Save all your changes and then click the Edit with Thrive Content Builder button. You'll see an empty page like this and here's where you can start adding the different elements to build your home page. First off, let's scroll right down this TCB pane and click Page Section. Once the page section is added, we'll get rid of this placeholder. Next, we'll change the background color of this section to a nice dark pink color. Now let's drag and drop a text element inside this section. We'll enter a title text, center align the title and make it a H1 title. Now let's change the font color to white. We'll also get rid of the white space over here by changing the top and bottom margins to a negative value. The Thrive Content Builder is a what you see is what you get interface so you can see what your page will look like as you're working on it. This looks good for the first section of our homepage. Let's save all the changes. Let's move on to create the next section. Here we'll add an image, some text and a simple call to action. First, let's add a new page section. We'll insert a background image and select full height image to view the complete picture. Now let's get rid of this placeholder text over here. We'll drop a button inside this image and edit the text. Let's link the text to one of our landing pages. I'm linking this button to one of my blog posts just for demo purposes. Let's style this button now. We'll select style 6, align the button to the right, and change the size to big. Let's also move this down a little by setting the top margin to 400. I think this looks good. Let's save all the changes and do a preview of the first two sections to see what this looks like. That looks good. Let's head back to the editor. Now let's add a third section where we can showcase three of our most popular posts or pages. First, let's add a title and a small intro, followed by a three-column grid to accommodate our most popular pages. 
We'll start with the page section and get rid of this placeholder text. Next, we'll make the background white. Then we'll add a title and some intro. But let's do that inside a text container so that we can make the text show up in a smaller space rather than take up the full width. So let's search for the content container element and add it to the page section. Next, let's reduce the size to something smaller, say 760 pixels. We'll add our title text. Center line this title and make it a H2 title. Then we'll add a different font for this title. To do this, click Custom Font. From the drop down, select Web Standard Fonts. And from the available options, let's go for the Comic Sans group. Now we'll add another text element and fill in some intro text. Let's center align this as well. Next, we'll add three columns by clicking the column layout drop down and dragging and dropping the one third layout. In the first column, let's add an image element and then insert the image. We'll replace this text with our top post or page and link it to the respective page URL. Again, I'm adding a random link just for demo purposes. Let's also center line this title and increase the font size to 20 to make it look more attractive. We need to repeat the same steps for columns 2 and 3. One quick way to do this is to clone the image and the title by clicking this button over here. Then we'll drag the clones over to column 2 and edit its contents. Click the image, click change image and add the new image. Similarly, click the text, replace it with the next popular page and link it to the appropriate URL. Finally, let's repeat the procedure for the third column as well. Now save all your changes and do a quick preview to see what it looks like. So far, so good. Now onto the next section. For this one, we'll add a testimonial image that links to a video. You already know the drill by now. Add another page section and get rid of the placeholder text. We'll insert a background image and select full height image to view the complete picture. Next, we'll add a content container. Reduce the size to 530 pixels and right align it. We'll also add some text to it. We'll give this a H1 title tag. 
right align it and change the font to white. Let's also set the top margin for this one to 200. We'll add another text element below this and follow it up with a more persuasive piece of content. Let's format this element also with a white font and center align it. Finally, we'll add a play button that links to a YouTube page. Let's add an image element. and drop this play button into it. We'll reduce the size of this image to say 121 pixels. Center align this button and enter the YouTube URL over here. Let's save all the changes. Next up, we'll add another section where we can showcase our blog posts. In fact, we can do this in a two-column layout like a gallery post. But first, let's add a section title and intro. We've already created this layout earlier. If you scroll up, you'll see this section over here that we can replicate and save ourselves some formatting time. Let's click the clone button over here and then click and drag this down to the new page section. Let's do away with this placeholder. Now we'll change the title and the intro text. Next, let's add a two column layout. In column 1, we'll add a post grid element. Then click Add Post Grid and choose the block style. We'll retain all the options except the Read More link. Next, click Edit Query and here we'll set the number of posts to 1. Notice the Start option here shows 0. That means the latest post will show up here. Let's go to Filter Settings next. If you want to choose a specific content that you want to show up here, you can set it here. I'm just going to skip this section and head over to the display settings. Here, I'll set the number of columns to 1 and click Save. The image here now looks very big. Let's style this up a little. Click the image, change the image height to 325 and the title font to 20. Let's get rid of this placeholder and this one as well. Now let's add another post grid in column 2. Click Add Post Grid and in the Layout tab, let's only show the featured image and title. Next, in the Edit Query tab, we'll select to show 4 posts and set the starting post to 1. This means the posts in this grid will be one post behind the latest post. Since column 1 is already showing the latest post, you don't want that repeated again. So we'll set this to 1. We leave the filter settings to its default state and head over to the display settings where we can select two columns and click save. Let's format this grid now. Click inside, reduce the image size to 150 and the title font size to 15. That's it. Let's save the changes and do a preview to see how everything looks. If you have more interesting stuff on your website that you want to share with others, you can choose to add more page sections and more content elements. We'll be closing our home page with a final call to action section. Again, let's add another page section and change the background color to a green one.
Then we'll add a title element, maybe borrow one from above and change the text. Next, we'll add some intro text as well. Next, let's center align this element and increase the font to 18. Now we'll add an opt-in form. If you have Thrive Leads, you can use a form created from there as it will allow you to track all the activities generated by the opt-in. If you don't have Thrive Leads, just head over to the lead generation section over here and drag this form to the page section. This looks great as it is, but you can style it some more. For instance, you can make this a horizontal form and set a negative margin at the bottom. You can also change the button color to that pretty pink one we used before. Now, if you want labels in these fields, you can do that when you connect your email service provider. To do that, click the element, click connect with service, click create a new connection, select API, select your mailing list and click save. In your sign up form, check the name and email fields, turn on the name field, and if you'd like to add an icon, you can click to add them over here. I'll save all my changes. So that's a nice, neat looking opt-in we've added at the bottom. Let's preview our home page now. Our newly designed home page now has a lot of elements that can keep your readers engaged for a longer time. And if they really like your content, you also have a handy opt-in at the end that they can subscribe to. That's it folks, you just saw how easy it was to build a home page with just a few content elements using the Thrive Content Builder. The plugin also has plenty of additional elements that you can use to build your home page. For instance, you can add a Google Maps listing if you have a physical business address, you can list your office phone number, you can add a countdown timer to promote a limited time offer and so on. If you'd like to learn more about Thrive Themes and the Thrive Content Builder, you can visit our website to check some reviews or head over to the official site for all the details. Thanks for watching guys. Cheers.